so it's 2022. It's that time of year. Activision is releasing Call of Duty, the next one in line, after announcing that they wouldn't make the game yearly. That gave us a lot of hope that each installment would be a little bit better in quality instead of rushing the next game out each year. But that's not the case. And I'm refusing to buy this new Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 2022 after having really high hopes, honestly, after Modern Warfare 2019 and Cold War. Those games were incredible. I know they weren't made by the same developer, but they were still incredible. And Activision was on a hot streak and they ruined it. They ruined it with this new iteration of Call of Duty. I played the beta and, well, whenever I first loaded into the game, I noticed that the user interface looked like uh, a Hulu menu. And it looked disgusting. It was revolting. I wanted to puke. So I tried, I tried the game out and as far as the game goes, it seems like it's fine. But just about everything else is either incomplete, broken, just not there at all. There's missing game modes. There's missing attachments. From what I hear, the gunsmith doesn't work at all. The XP tokens don't show you how much time you have for the token expiration. It just doesn't tell you. And the menu, this is my thing, the menu is absolutely garbage. From what I heard, Activision hired, I'm sorry, Infinity Ward hired Hulu's UI designers to make this game's UI. Why? Modern Warfare 2019 was perfect. I just went and played a match. This match is what you're seeing right now. I played this a couple minutes ago. It was a full game, full lobby. Modern Warfare 2019 is still alive. People want to still play this. I don't know why people would go to Modern Warfare 2 when it's just completely buggy in a complete mess. I didn't buy the game. I usually don't buy games. I don't pre-order games until I see a review or a reliable you know, source telling me what's wrong at the very least the technical problems with the game and so far what I've seen is an utter travesty and a huge blow to gaming's industry in general because this is absolute garbage what they're releasing year after year and soon to be you know bi-yearly I guess why are they not even putting in any effort to make these games complete especially when they're trying to sell these games at seventy dollars USD what's the point it's the same game it's not like much of anything changed they nerfed the movement and there's a few differences the <laughs> most of the differences are things are missing so Activision is completely incompetent in creating games that actually function on release and it's sad and this seems to be a trend among all developers now nobody's safe this is a harbor of garbage and gaming is suffering very badly from it because I've never seen anything like this. I mean, I have in the past te a decade or so. This has become a trend where a company will just release a game and it's completely broken. From what I've heard, Modern Warfare 2 has so many issues. Joining games, joining your friends, accessing the friends list. It crashes 20 times per night no exaggeration from what I'm hearing from other reviews. Why is this the case? Why did they release this crap? And it's not even crashing on just PC. It's crashing on consoles too. What's going on? Why is the gaming industry 
imploding. It seems like it's imploding. It seems like this is the final frontier of shit. Gaming is slowly falling apart and it's due to extreme greed by huge companies. Huge, huge, huge companies. All of the soul and passion that went into creating games when they were technically limit limited were so much better than what we have now. Why is that? I don't know. People were more enthusiastic about making games for a passion instead of huge, huge profits, which they're raking in. They're, that's no doubt. And that's a that sad thing to see. The gaming industry is plunging into this garbage wasteland of basically just microtransactions. Because obviously, we're going to see Modern Warfare 2 update a lot, but I'm not guessing that it's going to be anything decent. It's going to be skins and all these cosmetics that you're they're going to want you to buy when the game's incomplete. I mean, this this happened to Vanguard, too. I don't know if Van Vanguard was ever fully fixed. I really don't know. I played the beta on Vanguard, and I hated it. And now, now that Modern Warfare 2022 20, is out, and it's, it's cur currently garbage in the state that it's in right now, it's just sad to see that uh, a decent franchise that was finally coming out of its shell from its old engine and coming into its own with really cool move mechanics. I know people don't like the bunny hopping or all the slide canceling stuff, but at least it was something refreshing. So this is just sad to see. You hate to see it. That's all I got to say. Thanks for watching.